Scorpio, it's Al. I hope everybody is having a fabulous Monday. Before we get started, guys, don't forget, if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video, to hit that like, or I mean, excuse me, that subscribe button. Also like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. Um, I am doing personals right now. I am all caught up. So if you'd like a personal, that information is in the description box below. How to make a payment, how to reach me via email, please make a payment via Venmo or Cash App, then send me an email with your questions for the reading. Um, I am gonna be doing the readings $5 off, so take whatever the regular price is for a regular reading or a same day reading and just knock $5 off of the price. For this next week, I have a lot of open availability or free time. Um, also, if you'd like to donate, these are free readings. Any donations are appreciated. Venmo, Cash App. I also do have a GoFundMe link in the description box below. I've set up again. I'm a single mom. You guys follow me. You know I've been through um, a journey with my health this past year. Um, and I appreciate all the love and support that I've been shown. Still not back to work completely full time. Not that I don't want to be. I've been trying. Um, but, uh, you know, I just haven't been able to. Apparently, I'm, I need to be looking for another job now. I just made that decision since I'm, I'm kind of getting uh, resistance about... Mm, working more. Um, so it just is one of those things I've been there for so long, um, before COVID and stuff that I just didn't want to leave the company, but it's just kind of getting to the point where God's like, all right, what are you going to do? So, so, and also, you know, um, I decided that maybe I need to be focusing more on, you know, readings and this side, because it's obviously what I'm supposed to be doing right now with my life. So Got a lot of free time this week. Anyway, anyway, guys, if you'd like to donate, that information's in the description box below um, as well. And thank you to anybody that has. So, um, Scorpio, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Uh, the energy that I'm getting for you guys that I just pulled is, you know, um, some of you saw something or you see yourself. You saw yourself somewhere else, right? Um, you see yourself somewhere else. There's a situation like this is not what I expected my life to be is what it feels like and the needing to walk away from something. So whether it's having an, a wake up call in some way, shape or form, there is the energy of cutting something out of your life, cutting a certain situation, person, place or thing, doing something different. Um, and uh, with that energy, with the Six of Swords moving to calmer water. So if there's been a lot of chaos, if there's been a lot of fighting, there's been a lot of drama, we're in the energy of like, I've had enough heartbreak here, I'm walking away. There's been a painful ending. You might feel like, okay, with the seven or the Ten of Swords, that's usually some type of energy where you feel like you've been stabbed in your back, right? Or just betrayed, harsh betrayal. A lot of times it's the energy of like, okay, we've got the, <laughs> the judgment next to it, Scorpio energy. It could be something that somebody did something where there's no coming back from, right? Sometimes that happens. And with a Scorpio, when that happens, there's definitely, you know, you can cross that line. We are so loving. We are so forgiving. We will ride or die. We'll ride or die. We'll ride with you. But there is a limit. Um, and ours actually, I feel like people, Scorpios are notorious for staying loyal to a fault, right? But we do have a limit also. So I feel like with this energy, Scorpio, some of you have reached that limit. Somebody stabbed a fucking unicorn, goddamn bastard, right? So like in this card, like there's a unicorn that's being stabbed here, right? So awful, right? Who would stab a unicorn? I feel like there's this energy about you that's rare, like a unicorn. There's been a betrayal. Somebody fucking stabbed a unicorn, right? So you're in the energy of, wow, you know, there's heartbreak, there's blood on the damn ground, wherever. Um, but there's been, there's been a level of conflict, chaos, something here that wasn't so happy because we're walking away in feelings and emotions now, making a decision and then feeling good about your decision, right? Maybe some of you are still trying to, with this energy that I'm getting for this reading, still be okay with a decision, still feel good about a decision. Maybe it's hard for you right now, okay? Because this unicorn also looks like it's having a hard time, right? So, you know, yes, we're moving to calmer waters, but there's probably, for some of you, you might still be dealing with some hurt or some pain from the past, okay? So, before we get into it, let's say our little prayer. Uh, Spirit ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe and to nothingness. Amen.
what messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios in regards to a love situation here with a romance card spirit? So heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this kind of might be the energy that you're in. This might be why there's been an ending. If there hasn't been, maybe there's been an ending here um, to a situation and there's the need to discuss feelings with someone. Okay, Scorpio, heart to heart conversation going on. What other energy do we have for Scorpio? This has to do with romantic feelings though. So again, it could be somebody coming in with a conversation to talk with you about feelings or this is your energy. Somebody's had a wake up call. It could be in regards to some type of conversation you had or this will happen. Um, obsession, compulsion, craving, thirst. So there's some type of energy here. For some of you, you've been enlightened here. Okay, there's this energy of Maybe you experienced a level of obsession here in a connection. Um, there's just a real organic energy. This is you. When this shows up, I always feel like this is so Scorpio, right? So this organic natural energy. For you, it's natural to have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Or for some of you, maybe it's not. But... Like the energy of just, uh, you know, you're more emotional than most people here are, are okay with even being. And so there is some type of wake up call here or feeling of like gaining insight here. There's also the energy of some type of cravings going on. Now for some of you, um, you could literally be spending some time alone because you're going through some type of energy where you're dealing with cravings, whether it's like recovering from some type of addiction. I am picking that up a little bit too. And some, for some of you walking away from certain energies or certain things, there's also like this level, it could have been addicted to a person. Um, all right, let's see what other messages do we have for Scorpio. What other messages do you have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Karma is kicking someone ass, kicking someone's ass, excuse me. When that happens or comes out like that, typically it's not you, Scorpio. Karma is currently kicking somebody's ass and it has to do with a situation in regards to you. Um, someone tried to set you up or your family in a situation. So somebody tried to do something underhanded here um, that had to do with a level of obsession or compulsive behavior. Your purpose is way too powerful. So for some of you with this outsider energy that came out on top of that, your purpose is way too powerful. Some of you, um, there's this loner outsider energy. There's a disconnect with your energy because you're really sensitive to other people's energies as well. This also has something to do with whoever tried to set something up here. I don't know how deep this it, this is. It could just be as simple as somebody manipulating a situation, right? Set up vibe though. Somebody trying to manipulate something over an obsessive energy or obsession with something. Um, but you have a power or a gift that's like too powerful here, right? Whatever this real authentic energy is about you, um, there could be a level of somebody obsessed with you because of that or obsessed with something trying to manipulate a situation all right so anyway purpose is way too powerful somebody lied to themselves they really do love you Scorpio and then somebody all the lies somebody was ex all the lies somebody told about you are being exposed so if there was a situation where there was some level of people you know it could be some level of a smear campaign or something like that going on Scorpio something's being exposed with this energy What are the messages do we have for Scorpio? This 
could have taken place or there was something about somebody trying to manipulate a situation in autumn. All right, what other message? Spying, watching. What other message for Scorpio? Avoiding. So somebody that's avoiding you is watching. So assistance, spirit guides, assistance. Your spirit guides are trying to, I've been getting supernatural energy for you guys couple days in a row so spirit or pass on loved ones somebody's trying to communicate with you at this time all right what is this energy though of avoiding this is somebody you've had a connection with passion and energy chemistry could have started sometime in the autumn but there's an energy here of somebody avoiding someone or but watching someone okay the hell Curious. Somebody's really curious right now, Scorpio, about what's going on with you. Somebody could be looking at you to see if you're in a commitment. I just saw that. Or wondering why you're distracted. Some of you could be distracted from some level of commitment here. All right. Could just be a genuine, like, I'm curious about Scorpio. Are they okay? What's going on? All right. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Freedom. influence all right there's a level of balance that needs to be created in your life okay we've got influence here okay so there could be a level of influence somebody influencing you in a not so positive way Scorpio we've got needing to free some type of influence all right free some type of energy and get more into a balanced energy there's something that has to do with the night energy there's something from the past here that's eating somebody up alive or haunting them there needs to be balance here, Scorpio, whatever this is. All right. And you need to get out. And this is during the day and play. Like, get in some, even if it's fucking raining, who cares, right? They're, they're playing in the rain. So it's energy of um, being in a light, more lighthearted energy for those of you that have been in some kind of a darker energy with that obsession, compulsion, craving. I feel like for some of you, I'm picking up an energy of somebody that is dealing with like a level of substance, substance abuse, like pull yourself out of yourself, do something to get your mind off of something. Um, you, or it's a per, even if it's a person, right. You know, um, we've got commitment and illusion. So somebody was possibly walked away from a situation where somebody was creating mimicry saying what somebody wanted to hear, creating, you know, saying they wanted to commit or saying there were pretending there was a commitment here, Scorpio, but there was an illusion. And then we've got sacred space and needing balance. So there's been some type of imbalance here now with that sacred space energy, mind, body, and soul energy. And then soar. So there's going to be, there's like a freeing energy that's really important. I know that sounds corny, but like, there's some kind of obsessive energy you're going to need to free yourself from that's really important right now. Um, the chariot. Archangel Michael is helping you overcome adversity and success and conflict in a situation right now forward movement in the other direction so call on archangel michael to ask him to help you for some like he's great at helping you release like toxic like relationships and calling in soulmate energy um but other things as well but uh if you're and if it's not that if it's a pattern if it's a self-destructive pattern that's getting in the way of a connection here you know you can also like you know substance abuse or something here that's that's there needs to be a heart heart conversation about something with someone even if it's not a lover here there is something you're lying to yourself or you've been lying to yourself about What other messages do we have for Scorpio? In regards to this reading. So if 
you've been thinking about traveling, Scorpio, we've got the world card. I do feel like I'm feeling like a traveling energy with this, with the soaring. Um, some of you could be taking like a little vacation here, four of swords. This is taking a rest, taking time out. Um, high priestess. But this is bringing success to a situation because of trusting like intuitive energy, intuitive, trusting your intuition. Um, so for some of you where you did like walk away from something that was painful where you're trusting your intuition here, taking a break, taking your rest. We've got the um, two of pentacles, bringing things into fruition, but this is like also spirit fulfilling a request. So, you know, if you're asking spirit to help you right now through this time, they're here letting you know they're helping you with this shift. What else? Ace of Wands energy for some of you here. Be careful. This is also very fertile energy. It says fertility and multiplicity. Now, um, this is also helping one with patience, helps against despair with the Ace of Wands. So if there's like the energy of things like being brokenhearted or disappointed to the point where you don't feel passionate about things anymore, this is, you know, spirit helping bring that energy of like creation back into uh, your mind, body, and soul here with this balance energy. Um, and to help you like, you know, with this is like understanding the flow of life too and also having patience with you know what it is that you are bringing into your life or manifesting what other messages do we have for scorpio the moon card so divine revelation reveals a message and has the power to destroy so God is my strength. God sees everything. So there's a situation here, Scorpio, where there's something being revealing or divine revelation. It could be because of some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, but this is an archangel that has the power to destroy, you know, you've got two archangels showing up, which is intense energy. You've had the energy of the other side trying to communicate with you too over the last couple of days too. So it's like, not only are somebody pod possibly who's a past on loved one, but you've got archangels and your energy, which is a big deal helping you. Like they're saying, Hey, we're here when you're ready, <laughs> Scorpio, to give you strength, whatever this process is, whatever you've walked away from, whatever this obsession is here in your energy. Okay. Um, what other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading spirit? There is growth here. You've had some interfering energy, Scorpio, and it has a lot to do with staying fucked up in your head about something, okay? But with this too uh, maybe you won't see it now but there's going to be a lot of spiritual growth okay we've got the chariot again which is forward movement in a new direction and fast moving the chariot you know um there's a decision you didn't expect to have to make with this energy to move towards a successful in a success, successful direction yeah some of you did have to literally walk away from something here um Because there was the energy of mixed emotions, mixed feelings, somebody giving you mixed signals, some of you, and then it's like on again, off again, taking a break, then not, like this is wanting to t talk again, and then Ace of Cups, there's emotions here. So some of you, it's like you wanted to be not, like, like let off the roller coaster, you know? I don't know, there was something, too much of a yo-yo thing going on here. Ten of Wands, energy, oppressive energy. There's something like oppressive here in a situation that wasn't allowing it to be successful. Yes, there's love here, but again, there's something else now. It could be like, you know, your person dealing with some type of addictions, um, whatever the situation is. We've got the hangman though. Somebody kind of, it's almost energy too. It's like, I got myself into this doing some soul searching.
there was an allusion to success here. This person had options or a lot, or there's other options. Seven, seven of cups. Um, there was an illusion of stability or success here, or there's those were created, but there was always some, some something oppressing here, a situation just on and off again, mixed emotions. Um, maybe you just woke up one day and saw completely different. I don't know. It's the energy of walking away, but then there's still being love in a situation for somebody wanting to communicate. So can I, I can't even talk. Communication coming in might be manipulative, Scorpio, but this person wants success again with you. And you're like, I don't know how I feel anymore. Mixed it. So it's like somebody, I think, didn't know how they felt with you. Mixed emotions. You got to the point where you walked away here. And now... There could be mixed emotions, but I mean, when a Scorpio walks away, it's hard to like, it's hard to get a Scorpio to come back. Yeah. The fool, somebody wants to start over. Somebody sees a connection for what it is now, but there's still oppressive energy some way, shape or form. Something is oppressing it. keeping it from growing, basically. You gain clarity. So there's a situation, I don't know, there was always something keeping it from growing, Scorpio, uh, that you walked away from. So, let's see. What else do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Best advice, final outcome? Maybe this is what you're thinking about doing. Best advice, final outcome for Scorpio. Wow. Okay. So, Scorpio, Seven of Swords. So, trust your intuition in, in regards to feeling like there's a secret here. We've got mixed emotions here and a change of partner and change in a cycle. You're going to be successful when you put an end to a cycle, basically. Best advice. So, again whatever this cycle might be. Now, somebody could be putting an end to a cycle here. There's heart to heart conversations and somebody is talking about, okay, I have this issue. It could be, you're not walking away from a person. You could be walking away from a lifestyle or something. There's something that you're walking away from that's caused a level of oppression and that has caused some heartache in your life that you've had, you've, there's been some type of lie connected to something or lying to yourself here um, and needing to gain balance back and needing to gain um, a level of freedom where you feel like something is, you're not free. Like there's a level of, in, there's been some type of influence where there was oppressive energy. Now you can take that however you want to, however it resonates. For somebody it is just like some level of addiction or somebody's dealing with, they're strong, it could be something like that you're dealing with, um, or an addiction to a person, right? So best advice spirit is saying like, as painful as it is, there's a cycle that needs to end here because you're just kind of going around and around and around and around and around, like on the hamster wheel with this person. It's not ever, there's nothing, you're not getting anywhere different basically. All right. Do we have anybody new coming in to Scorpio's energy since... Spirit is basically giving you the advice to walk away from this. Do we have anybody new coming into Scorpio's energy, Spirit? I feel like the table looks like a mess. Sorry, y'all. Do we have anything, anyone new coming into Scorpio's energy? Okay, we've got Libra energy, the devil, two of cups, the soulmate. We've got Libra, Capricorn energy, the star card, Aquarius energy, and then the two of cups, which is soulmate energy. So some of you... This can be somebody where, on the other hand, this is somebody that might end up being a little obsessive about you. Um, but this is also a passionate energy, a lot of air energy. Um, but this is going to feel like, okay, you know, dreams are coming true here. My prayers have been heard or answered. Or this is the type of per partner because we've got, you know, um, also things balancing out, 
right? So if it was an un, if you were in a situation before where it wasn't equal, or there was some kind of, again, something being oppressed on one side or something just being oppressed here, something not, not allowing something to grow or move. There's the energy here, Scorpio, of that not being the case moving forward. So, um, For some of you, it is. I just saw the Queen of Wands taking your power back mentally. If it's you that's de dealt with, whether it's like an addiction to a person, it's taking the power back. If it's an addiction to a substance, it's taking the power back and not allowing that to control your life. Bringing more balance back into your life. Prayers being answered. Um, things kind of balancing out here. Or being a, you being in a more balanced energy is bringing a soulmate energy into your life with the Two of Cups. Can we elaborate with this energy for the Two of Cups for Scorpio? The Three of Wands. This is an energy. Let me tell you how you're going to know. This is an energy in your life that's not going to cause oppression or a level of oppression. You're not going to feel like things are dying or not going anywhere. There's going to be this energy of feeling free, freedom. Or your spirit is saying you freed yourself, right? But there's a spirit of like something that's not oppressive here. There's freedom. Could be um, Aquarius, I'm not Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the King of Wands almost came out, but... For some of you, yeah, that weren't in a situation where somebody wasn't being truthful. It's like an energy that's truthful or is full of integrity. Okay. So for those of you that are wondering if walking away was the right thing, there's a positive energy, you know, once you're ready, right? The moon card. This might be something that's being illuminate, illuminated, excuse me, to you. What else? For others of you, there are just options here interfering. You're finding out about it or you will be finding out about it. But you've manifested something here that's equal. Lover's energy. We've got the Eight of Wands communication. So once there's communication with you and this person, we've got the Magician card. It's going to take off fast here, right? But there's a mutual energy. So it'll almost feel like, well, whatever came out over here or whatever interference is over here, whatever options, something here, um, whatever came to light. For a lot of you too here yeah the death card it created like a transformation there's a transformational energy here within your spirit healing work that's been done so that the next partner the next situation that you're attracting into your life is more you know is less toxic it's going to be an equal give and take it's going to be somebody there's there's not that's equally as into you or not putting you in a third party situation or whatever it might be guys i don't know um I hope this message was helpful for someone. Until next time, lots of love and light. Again, if you'd like a personal, that information's in the description box below. Until next time, bye.